I constantly, whenever anybody asks me what live feed is or anything along that, those lines, I actually have to be stopped and just ranting about how brilliant it was for me. It was the best experience that I've ever had music-wise. Like it was the first experience that I've ever had actually performing music properly and being taken seriously. And it was honestly life-changing. Like I'm not over-exaggerating that. It really changed my teenage years. Like I can't imagine it properly without it. And that one gig in Nuns Island, Tiny Tiny, and the Clifton Fire Festival really just put me on a better path. I don't think I have words to describe how Live Feed has impacted me and how happy it has made me. So, uh, you've been playing out here, there's no time. Let's take a look at Live Feed, I've really enjoyed it. It's given me so many opportunities and I've like met all my friends through Live Feed and there's so many connections to everyone around Galway. Yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be fast. So, yes, go. So, uh, it became so much more real. Music stopped being like a hobby, and, well, it still is a hobby, but it stopped being just a hobby that couldn't turn into anything else, because Live Feed showed me that it is possible for it to blossom into something else and something that I can continue on with in my life and share with other people which is really what music is all about and and life he did that so well I know I think like if we hadn't done life we'd probably still be doing nothing like sitting in Cal's room just being like oh just playing like covers <laughs> just like nothing else this first song is a new song off the hopefully upcoming soon album and it's called Down Below <laughs> The live feed got started just before 2020. At the time, I was running an underage open mic. And 2020 started doing a number of speakouts uh, in preparation for their bid book for the Capital of Culture. And I spoke at one of those about youth music and developing it. Through those meetings, 2020 formed the kind of idea, I suppose, of what live feed might be. And then they came to me and asked me if I would develop it and, and um, all of that. I knew immediately that it wasn't something I was not good. I was going to be able to do on my own. So uh, that's when I approached Dave and Owen. And from there, we just worked as a team and live feed happened. <laughs> Georgia. Our roles within the within Live Feed kind of very naturally seem to find themselves. Um, Dave took the role as project manager, so kind of has the, the vision and spearheads um, a lot of the direction of where we go. Um, Owen has a huge amount of experience in community uh, work and youth work. So he took the community aspect of it and I kind of continued working with the young people directly. And so it worked very, very well. And in terms of how we started to flesh out the project, we always kind of went from the position of what do young people need? Which would you prefer? <coughs> That's been maybe the cornerstone to maybe the authenticity of the project and the success of the project we haven't lost sight of that you know and we're constantly asking the young people what they want and what we can do to support them Find somewhere just to 
sit for a second, we'll be breaking up really, really uh, soon anyway. In the mindset of what we need to do to be on stage, to be confident and all of that and, and ready to sound check. So, we're going to break up into those groups pretty much straight away. Um, so all of the people who are doing the sound checking wor or workshop are sound um, engineers. The experiences mirrored each other in the various towns that we went to, to visit. A lot of people wanted support in getting from playing in their homes to stage. So there was a performance support that people needed. But we also met a lot of people who were very interested in sound engineering and would love some support with that. And we were able to provide that, which was amazing. Other people wanted help with, or, or not even help, because a lot of them are just so talented, but a platform and an opportunity to engage in photography. There were times where people were really interested in doing songwriting workshops. So Owen put on songwriting workshops and he also was able to meet young people who wanted to get more skills in recording. So he was able to do that as well. The young musicians that are ready to get their music out there, like Dave would be the, the main man to go to for the support around that, around, you know, um, what your social media looks like, you know, what the website uh, looks like, um, how to promote yourself and things like that. And so it's actually even just kind of going through the list now, I'm like, God, yeah, we did a lot. <laughs> amazing I was blown away from the talent and the best thing is is that they they were all my age so I could relate to them and I could I could talk to them so much easier and it was in such a friendly environment that I felt like I was part of it all and I felt like I could just go up to anybody talk to anybody and really interact with the whole whole thing and it also I could I could see how much confidence it was giving the musicians they were they were amazing I just want to put that out there they were absolutely wonderful to listen to but it, yeah, you can really see the, the confidence that it was giving them to just to be up there and to be in front of a small crowd. But yes, we had a very, you know, one small step. That's, that's how everything begins, right? When the pandemic hit, I think everybody was a bit shell-shocked. And I think personally and professionally as a team, individually, we were all like, what the hell is going on? So it was quite, um, the first few months of the pandemic was quite um, a strange time. And we didn't do a huge amount and we had to wait until maybe the summer. And then by that time, 2020 had kind of regrouped and were gave us the green light to go ahead with um, a revised idea of live feed. It has, it has worked really, really well. And I feel like it has very much addressed 
the needs of the young people that we work with. The feedback we got from it was lovely. Like the feedback from parents and for, for young people, families who said that really it was a highlight of the week, particularly at the times that the schools were closed because there was nothing happening for young people at the time. It's been so long, my dear, but I finally see the sun. I got a different night, I finally have begun. And if I start to focus on my feet, maybe it won't feel so goddamn hard to move them. Live Feed kept the energy of live performances during such a difficult time. It gave people hope, it gave me a thing to look forward to at the end of the week. I went five days of horrible online school and then I just think, Friday, I can watch Live Feed's performance. But I have finally moved my feet. And I never want to stop them again. And then uh, we did our beautiful recordings in Nuns Island. I got my feet on the ground. I turn this all back around. I swear our bottom really ain't that bad. I got my feet on the ground. I turn this all back around. I swear our bottom really ain't that bad. Saw me crying on the kitchen floor, flood tears. I swore and promised that it hasn't been that bad in years. But if I told you, a I parent did. contacted me after one of them said it was like watching other voices for young musicians, and it did have that sort of a feel. I got my feet on the ground, I turn this all back around. I swear I bought them. I got my feet on the ground, I turn this all back around, I swear I bought them really ain't Yeah, that's what we've been at. I am most proud of our young people. Like, we have developed really good relationships with so many of the young people that we have worked with and just seen them just flourish. And it's not even like the, the, the musical side of things is amazing. And to watch like these young musicians grow as artists is uh, it's incredible. But like what is really amazing is just to see their growth as people and how kind and empathetic they are. And as I said already, like the support that they show each other, that's something that I'm extremely proud of and you can't you know it's very hard to quantify it but you know it when you see it you know it's not like a checklist of well they learned this and they did this and but when you can see the whole arc of how these people are interacting with each other and how much empathy they have for each other and I really do feel that that has come about it's in them but the project has like really facilitated that interaction I think it was like Owen who, who said it um, very early on in the project and I'll never forget it. He was like, I would like this project to be what I needed when I was a teenager. If somebody could have told me or supported me as a teenager starting out in my music career, the things that this project is doing, like that's what I want. And I think that you know, we have the capacity to do that and we have an incredible team. Um, and it's outside of like Dave and Owen and myself. There's a whole group of people that are working together. And I just, yeah, I, I want that to continue because I think we can do great things. It ain't that bad. This is an original song. Life feed going. Man, what a journey this has been. <laughs> to be honest, Life Feed is probably the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, like Tracy Owen and David have been such a huge guidance for me musically and like Life Feed really solidified the idea of being a musician for me. Thank you so much, Tracy Owen and David. I know you say you got just as much out of it as we did or whatever, but I don't think you could possibly comprehend just how much it's done for a lot of us. Like it was the best experience 
that I've ever had music wise like it was the first experience that I've ever had actually performing music properly and being taken seriously and being told like you are really good at music you are really good at this and we want to help you do this more. I just have so much love and gratitude for Tracy Owen and David for giving me this platform to express myself and to see others express themselves. It's been a truly unique and beautiful opportunity. Sharing our art and our thoughts and our talents with other people, people who we might have never met otherwise. Thank you so much for setting up Live Feed and giving us all this crazy cool opportunity to meet others and do something that we love. I've loved every minute of it. You've made my experience, I can't talk for other people, but from what I've heard, everyone shares a similar experience to me, but you've made my the experience of my teenage years better. Um, well, that's, that's simply it. Before I was, I was interested in music, but this is what really cemented it. It's like, this is, you know, my, this is what I'm obsessed with now, and, and this is what I'm going into further education for, and this is what I like, this is what I want to do for my, my career. I've loved it all. You, you guys are genuinely some of the best people I've ever met. You've, like, uh, helped me, like, grow my confidence a lot. Like, you, you may not have seen it, but through live feed, I, I, I've, I've grown as a performer. I think everyone I know, like, uh, my friends who did it with me, they became more themselves because of meeting people who were just being themselves because we were all new. I've just become so much more comfortable in my identity as an artist because I felt that in Life Feed there is a space for everyone, no matter what kind of music you're playing or how long you've been playing. And I will seriously be saying thank you for the rest of my life. So one more time, Tracy, David and Owen, thank you so, so much. I can